แม่แม่That's a lot of snow. Morning, goats. No, you cannot come in. Hey. No, 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 no. Out you go. Out you go. Come on out. <sighs> this isn't good. I got goats in the house. Come on. Get out here. Come on. Hey. No, 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 no. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. No. No. Uh. It's days like today. It's really hard to get motivated when things like this happen. Get out of here. Get out of the food. Come on, get out. I know you're hungry, but out. Let's go. Get out the door. Go. Get out the door. Go. Get out of here. Stop eating the flowers. Get out. Riley! Get out of here! The weatherman said we're only supposed to get four to six inches. Well, I beg to differ. Every time they say four to six, it's about a foot. I think there's about a foot on the ground right now. And uh, from what I've heard, we got more coming tonight. So might be around a foot and a half by the end of the night. Now to clear out some space for these chickens. In the winter time, I use these metal feeders because if I just throw the feed down on the ground, it'll get lost in the snow and it'll be a waste of a lot of feed. I guess this is a sign I have to clip their wings again. Get in there, chickens. Put that there for now. You get in there! I lost all my roosters in the fall due to predators, and now I only have hens, so this spring I gotta get some roosters. Anyway, now that the snow's cleared away, I can get everybody some food and water. Unfortunately, we don't have a frost-free hydrant outside, and the water spigot, here comes the snow off the trees. That is not pleasant going down the back of your neck. Uh, what 
because it is pretty. Anyway, we don't have a frost-free hydrant outside and the spigot that's attached to the house freezes every winter. So we have to go inside and fill the buckets up in the tub. It is not the most pleasant thing to do when you have to carry it through the house. You end up spilling it all over the place, making a big mess. And on the bottom of these buckets tend to get little frozen poop balls. It's nearly impossible to get them off the bucket until it thaws out. So, it's not the most sanitary thing to do either. Because every time we fill buckets up with water in the tub, we get poop balls in the tub. And then we have to clean the tub out every day. Which is not fun. You're not coming in. Yes, you can have water, but you're not coming in. Hey, no, I said you're not coming in. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. No, 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 no. Not all of you. Come on, get out. Out, 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 out. Goats, get out. Get out, get out. No, 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 no. Now that these guys have absolutely terrorized this bag, they have no patience. They act like I'm not going to feed them. I'm going to feed them. <sighs> no. You guys are savages. Come on. No matter how much these guys eat, they see a bucket and they think, they think to themselves, oh look, it's food for me. No, it's not food for you. They may not even be hungry, but they'll come after the bucket anyway. Hey, who's in there? Now the ducks, they're a different story. I don't have to clear the snow out because they pack all the snow down. So every little bit of pellet will be picked up.
So now on to the next step. Water for the ducks and the chickens. I guess I have to clean that one out. Here's a classic example of what I mean about these goats. They're not hungry. They left three quarters of their grain in their bin and they're out there chewing on the side of a tree. But as soon as they see you with that bucket, they act like savages. Look how much grain is here. They didn't even touch half of it. Look, look at it in this bucket. They're so concerned about the bucket and what you're doing, but they're not really hungry. Get goats. It'll be fun. Not for you. Yes, I know it's a bucket. Get. Now that they're all cleaned up, it's back into the house to fill the bucket up again. Look out, bubs. Look, he's seen me with a bucket. He's standing here to see what I got in it. Look, there's nothing in it. Nothing. Uh-oh, snow coming off the roof. See, there's absolutely nothing in the bucket, and he's concerned about it. Look, now that you're happy nothing's in the bucket, you've investigated it. You're happy to investigate it now? You can move on? Look out. Come on. Get out of the way. They're nosy. That's all it is. No, you're not coming in. Get, get. Thank you. Thank you for being a good girl. Oh, you want some water here? You got a full bucket of water over there. Right there. But you choose to come over here to get a drink out of the bucket I have in my hand. You drive me crazy. Now we can take this bucket up the hill if the goats don't follow me and try and knock it out of my hand. Here they are again, they've seen an empty bucket, gotta come investigate. <laughs> 